Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this new tutorial today. We are going to create a web server with Node.js. The complete documentation is on Node.js docs and inside of the guides you can read through everything. So uh, let's get started. We are creating a new uh, directory inside of our uh, user uh, directory. So I type in mk, mk dir for make directory and I call it test. And as you see, we have created a new uh, folder that's called test. And inside of this uh, folder, I create a new file called test.js. And if I type in touched test.js, uh, I create a new, I create a new file. But first we have to navigate into our test folder before we can create it. So now I type in touch test.js. And as you see in the background, we've created a new uh, JavaScript file. Now I could open the JavaScript file by double clicking it here, or I just type in atom test .js. This works if you have Atom installed. So it will open up Atom text editor for you uh, and it instantly opens it with your file test.js. So as you see, this is uh, our Atom text editor. And now we're going to create a new variable, HTTP, and we require require a module called HTTP and this comes with Node.js instantly. So we don't have to install it uh, via npm install. So this is uh, the standard way of uh, uh, importing packages uh, in Node.js. So we say uh, we create a variable and we require the package HTTP. So now I could say HTTP and uh, on this uh, object we have some functions that we can call and one function uh, is create server. And inside of this function we can pass another argument which is a function. I make it anonymous and we uh, have a response uh, request and a response. And inside of here, we simply say response and, and this is our output. For example, hello world. And this is what gets displayed on the web server, uh, on, on the web page. If we are navigating to our local host. So now we have to uh, tell the server where to listen. So I make a variable out of this. This is our server. And now I say the server has to listen to port 8000. I guess it's like this. Perfect. And that's all we have to do. So if I'm uh, navigating to our uh, local host 8000, it says this site can't be reached. But let's open our uh, terminal and type in node and run this file test.js and as you see there is something working and if we're reloading our page it says hello world so we could uh, console log something that we know where to listen so we say console log this server listens to listen to port 8000 to local host 8000 something like this and if we're uh, with control C you stop the server and if we're running it again it says this server listen to port local host 8000 and it works and if I'm shutting down the server with control C and reloading the site can't be reached and I'm starting the server again and it's working again. So 
That's the very basics of an HTTP server uh, with Node.js. Next time we will uh, take a look at routing and we will take a look at the npm package called Express. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to hit the subscribe button and we'll see us in the next video. Bye!